Happy New Year! It's 2024, or at least it will be in a few hours, and so I wanted to do this very special New Year's Eve reading for you guys. And this is what's coming in for 2024, and I thought this is the perfect time to do it. Hello if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Luna, I am your Oracle of Starlight. I channel messages from Archangels, Star Beings, and Highest Light Spirit Guides for your greatest good. I was sent by the Council of Light, and I'm here to get you to your highest time timeline, that golden timeline. And if you're interested in anything like that, please go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I come out with a new reading. Not only does this help me to pick up on your energy so I can channel for you more directly, but it helps me to share my light and love with the world for which I am ever so grateful. I will have links below in the description if anybody wants a link to my manifest frequency channel where I put out subliminals and frequency music to help you manifest your ultimate reality. I also have links for any of the cards you may see here. I have um, links to my shop, my Etsy shop, and if you would like a personal reading. Um, I want to thank you all so much um, for being here. Thank you all for all your beautiful comments, subscriptions, your letters. I'm, I'm just so grateful to have you here with me, my soul family, star family. I'm going to let you guys know that as it is New Year's Eve, that there is some things happening. <laughs> there's lots of fireworks going off, so and there's dogs barking, so if there's any sort of, uh, we'll just work this into the reading, any sort of confirmations coming through, I'm just letting you know there might be a little background noise going on here. So we have three cards to choose from today. We have card number one, and we've already meditated and called in the angels. We'll cleanse here in just one second. We have card number one is Spiritus Rector, Benevolent Guide. And it's also card number 57. And then card number two is Eris Copper. And it's card number 23. And card number three is Veneris, Venus. And it's card number four. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and pick a few charms for you for each of these groups to help you choose where your messages may be. Now, you may have messages in more than one group, as is often the case. So if you call, feel called to more than one group, please go ahead and check that other group out. Um, and see if you have, have messages there. Now, as always, I read from the collective. Will please only take what resonates. I have a wheel. I have a handmade hand. I had this little cup of cocoa. And I have a lucky coin. It's a lira. Okay, so now let's get some charms for group number two. We have... A peace sign. Oh, I made it spin. We have a key, a tri key. Looks like a flower. We have a Hello Kitty. Always this Empress energy with the Hello Kitty. We have a kitty cat, a kitty cat for magic and intuition. And we have a little dice. Let's go ahead and roll that. Four. We have a dice for four which means you, this group may have messages in this group right here. So let's go ahead and get some charms for group number three, card number four, Venus. Oh, we have a tree, a tree of life. We have an angels, angels watching over you. We have a butterfly. We have a peace sign. We have a star. And we have the Cygnus Swan. And I'm doing something a little bit different here, you guys. I've been sitting on the floor, grounding as I'm doing my readings. Instead of sitting on the end of my bed, which was already on, sort of on the floor, I am grounding. So I'm a little bit different in angle, so I hope everybody can see everything all right. Okay, so we've got all your charms out here. We've got your groups. Let's go ahead and run this third eye chakra bowl to help you choose. And then we're going to go ahead and bless this reading. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. And choose the card or charms or group you most resonate. Again, you may have messages in more than one group. 
which is often the case if you resonate with these messages. I'll have the links below in the description. And I will see you in your group. And oh, before you go, let's go ahead and bless this reading and bless this new year. We'll go ahead and cleanse out the energies really quick. Let's find my little lighter. We're almost out of our mullion stick. We made this when we were in that beautiful Eureka Springs. We made several of these mullion sticks. During the solstices. Now here we go. Let's go ahead and cleanse this energy for you. We're going to cleanse any negative energy around you. All you have to do is accept, and this energy will come to cleanse your aura. And this is a molly, and it's strong spiritual protection. So we're going to go ahead and cleanse you, cleanse your space. We're going to cleanse uh, this space. Cleanse any negative energy out of this space. Lay over energy out of the space around you, and we'll leave this to burn over here. Our tiny little end of a stick. This is perfect at the end of the year. What could be more perfect? And we've got the end of our little sage stick here. So let's burn a little sage to bless you. We're going to bring in these blessings for the new year. I'm sending you guys so much New Year's blessings. Love and light and luck. We're going to bless you for the new year. Bless this reading. And just let that smoke wave over you and bless you. Cleanse your aura and bless you. Here we go. It's bringing the energy in. We cleanse the energy out and now we're bringing the energy in. Okay, and we're just going to leave this to... Leave this right over here to burn. Actually, as this is burning right in my face, let's move it real quick. Okay, guys, I'll have those links below in the description. I'm sending you so much love and light on this beautiful new year. I will see you guys in your groups. Hello, and welcome to group number one. If you chose card number one, you chose this beautiful Spiritus Rector Benevolent Guide. And it's card number 57. We have this little cup of cocoa. We have this wheel. We have this hands made and we have this lucky coin. So let me go ahead and tap into your messages. I've got all the angels called in already. So these are your messages from spirit or your highest light spirit guides for the year 2024 and all these incredible changes and things that are coming in for you. Let's find out. Let's go ahead and tap in group number one. So group number one, right away, they were showing me the bee, and they were showing the bee inside of me as this light worker, as in you are this light worker, and then as they showed me a star. So what I was getting from this imagery is that you are this light worker, you are this light worker bee, you are this benevolent guide here for the earth. You are here to help guide the earth. Now in this, you are promised good luck. You were promised good luck and comfort. See, you came in with these codes. This is the divine blueprint that was made for you. This divine matrix, this divine blueprint within you to bring these codes to get out of the karmic cycles. And this is an incredible message. I think this is the most incredible message I am getting. This is this is a beautiful reason that you came in here. So you are a star. I feel that you're going to be shedding, spreading your light to the world. I feel there could be a journey in your future. We're going to go ahead and get some cards. And first off, we're wanting to get one of these new Bob Ross cards. So let's see what the angels have for you. The palette knife. See, I feel like you're really carving out this reality right now. Just showing exactly where you want to go. Now, I did see a journey to the world. And as this, I'm seeing the mountains. And maybe you're planning this journey with this vision. This is going to be giving depth depth to your life. It's going to be, uh, and this was a lot of shadow work possibly that you were doing because I'm seeing depth to shadow. So perhaps you did a lot of shadow work this year. This is, this is actually giving you structure for this new reality, structure for these new energies that are coming in. And since this is a new, new card deck, we'll go ahead and uh, pull out the Oracle thing here and see what it says for the palette knife. That's what I'm feeling called to do. 
I just have it right here next to me. Let's see. The palette knife. 69. Look at this beautiful, this beautiful book, you guys. So here we go. The palette and the palette knife. The palette knife is often misunderstood, but it can do some of the most fantastic things imaginable, just like everything else. You have to make friends with the palette knife to truly understand it. You have to devote a little time to working with it, but very quickly, you'll be doing things with it you didn't believe was possible to do with a big old thing that looks like a putty knife. With this knife, you can scrape away paint to create trees and cabins, or gently layer on paint, allowing it to break and form mountains covered with snow. The palette knife shows us that sometimes we have to scrape away the paint to create art. Once you take away the excess, all that is left is behind is beautiful. And I feel this is really what you've been doing with this shadow work and everything that you've been doing. And like I said, you're going to be able to create your reality. You're going to be able to create these little cabins and trees if that is what you wish. If you want mountains and snow, this is what you can grow. This is what you can build. This is, this is what's going to be coming in in 2024 as you are manifesting your reality, group number one, because you are this benevolent guide that came in with these divine blue prints in order to do this. Divine blueprints, in order to do this, you have divine blueprints. Let me get some tarot cards. Oh, actually, they're wanting me to get some of these new cards I just made for the new year. These are New Year's blessings. These are what's coming in for the new year. Um, I've already, we've already blessed and consecrated all of our new cards and cleansed them. Oh, did something just slip over in the middle of the deck? That's it. Voice and healing voice and healing. I feel with all this healing you have been doing, you're going to be using your voice more. You're going to be giving a voice. Um, I think you could be giving a voice to some of the healing that you've been doing. And I also feel that your voice, as you've been healing, and perhaps you've been healing your throat chakra, I believe in this next year, in this 2024, you're going to be giving more voice to the things that you wish to create. And you're going to be having more of a voice of what you have in your reality, what you're going to be having more of a say. And I feel that also your voice carries carries magic within it with these divine blueprints. As you are a benevolent guide and you're here to help others, your voice carries something within it, these divine blueprints. This luck, this helping others get out of karmic cycles. Perhaps your voice is comforting. I feel for some of you, they're showing me the mug with the cocoa and is bringing a comforting space. And perhaps your voice is comforting to others. They're showing me travel. I was definitely feeling travel. Travel and incoming communication. So perhaps you've got incoming communication about travel. I know I just got incoming communication about travel. I believe there's going to be more coming in for you this year. There's travel for you. Perhaps you're planning this travel. Now, maybe you've already planned it for some of you, or you've been planning it for a while, but there's definitely travel coming in this year. An incoming communication about this travel, meditation. I believe you're going to be doing more meditation, and perhaps you've been doing a lot of meditation with this healing. They're showing me the bottom of the deck for success. Success. You were guaranteed success as these are your divine blueprints and this is what you came in to do. So you are being called to travel. There's going to be in some, some incoming communication about this travel. Let's go ahead and get some tarot cards for you. The tower. See, I feel we just went through a major tower moment. They're telling me to read the card. So let me read this to you. It says, embrace the storm and remember that you have the power to survive and thrive. So if you feel you're going through a storm right now, and now they're wanting me to show you these codes. Let me show you these frequencies that all came through. I actually meant to talk about it in the beginning, but I didn't. So here we go. I haven't pulled up here. Look at these crazy activations that came through over the last couple of days. Now, some of these were just last night. Um, this is just major. Not only are we having this, we're having these, um, all of these frequencies are happening in the, all through the spectrum. So this is the Schumann resonance. And it affects our brain waves and it affects our bodies. Now, not only this, we've been having major activations in the lower frequencies. Now, these are sub Schumann resonance frequencies, and these connect automatically to our autonomic nervous system, which connects to our heart and our, our brain function, lots of different things. And it's, it also connects to our gut. 
It connects to our gut, our microbiome. You might be going through some things right now. There may be more tower moments. There may be more tower moments coming in from this. Uh, so remember to embrace this storm, embrace this storm, these activations that are coming in for you, whatever it's clearing out, you have the power to survive and thrive. Okay, because these are major activations that are taking you to this new timeline, taking you into this 2024 and these new timelines. They're wanting me to get some more tarot cards. New timelines up. Six of coins, the ability to share. You're going to have the ability to share your abundance. And I feel that actually, not only that, I feel that the angels, the spirit guides, they're going to be bringing you this abundance. There, there's going to be little trickles in from different places, little bits here and there, little bits here and there. Uh, these these little messages, possibly from incoming communication, that's going to be bringing you this, this abundance, bringing you this money. With the three of wands, I feel you're really going somewhere. I did say you were planning to travel. I feel also you're accelerating. Now there's some fire coming in to accelerate you on your path, uh, to accelerate you. So you're going somewhere, you're going somewhere incredible. You're going up. This is ascension, right? This is ascension. You're going up and you're going up. They're showing me to like to the castle, to the higher, uh, it's like moving up in status. Um, this could be physically, this could be in the non-physical, this could be both. I, I'm actually hearing both for quite a few of you. They're showing me this Knight of Coins. Again, and then this is you growing your abundance and bringing it in, but not really having to do a lot to work for that. Um, it's like, it's a receiving energy, is a, a letting it flow to you type of energy. Now, maybe you are doing a bit of hunting, a little prospecting. And they're showing me the sun and bringing in these sun codes. You could be getting downloads and information on helping you, that's helping you to grow your abundance. And I also feel that this is a call, this is showing this call to travel and these in communication, incoming communications. So you could be getting incoming communications from these star beings and star beings and spirit guides. Forgive me, you guys, it's coming through really fast. The, these frequencies are really strong. Um, so guys, if you could slow it down just a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of energy tonight. There's a lot of incredible energy. I'm so glad I was doing this reading um, on New Year's Eve. They're showing me the world. It's taking you to the world. See, we've got the world voice and success. You are this benevolent guide, and you're here to share your voice with the world, and you're promised success in this. Uh, this is completion. This is joy. And I was seeing travel, and I feel like you could be world traveling as well. Maybe you're sharing your voice as you travel the world. For some of you, this is the case. With the Eight of Swords, they're showing me the bottom of the deck. I feel before you had to hide yourself from the world. You had to hide yourself from all of these energies. They're showing me the castle in the background as, as like this structure that was in place, this regime that made you have to hide. And if you're a starseed, I know you get what I'm saying. I know you're understanding these feelings. This is all these swords around you as you're dodging and, and pretending to be something to get out of those energies. And this is this is the and this is what they're showing me these tower moments that's bringing you up 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 to abundance and travel this travel is taking you up this travel is taking you up and out of here that's what they're showing me up and out to abundance and success to the world to share your voice with the world they're showing me the bottom of the deck is this beautiful full energy this beautiful aerial energy this beautiful little mermaid of gazing up at the castle, gazing up at the kingdom. And they're showing me the birds uh, and the angels as bringing information in for you as well. Let me get my frequencies here a little bit closer. I think I moved them away too low, far away. So, and then they were showing me as you starting off as this fool, this beautiful innocent child energy and going through all of the tarot, going through all the major arcana, arcana, and then working your way, working your way through all the suits as well. You're working your way, um, and this is what you're doing as you're working your way out of this matrix energies, these um, these structures, these, these tower moments are for the structures that you've been healing from this. 
and creating creating where you wish to go, knowing where you wish to go and creating that. And they're showing me the bottom of the ducks is the three of cups, and they're actually showing me the devies celebrating for you. See, this is abundance and prosperity and you standing in your power, and, and your spirit guides are celebrating, the angels are celebrating, the gods are celebrating. This is bringing in a new age of wisdom, a new age of enlightenment, and a new age of abundance. And this is so completely incredible. Group number one, let me check the time. I saw 1244, so I'm seeing 144 and two as the partnerships. So there could be divine partnerships coming in for you. And I think this is a beautiful, beautiful reading. Let me get a few more cards for you. Oh, let's grab some energy oracle cards. Get a little feel of this energy. Adjacent possibilities. So I do feel right now you might have more. Okay, now I've been seeing this a lot and I don't call it out in all of my readings, but I feel you definitely have some adjacent possibilities right now as you're going out to the world and you might be feeling this right now as you are moving timelines. There, you could have more than one choice if you were going with something that you did in the past and they're showing me the bottom of the deck. It might not be taking you to the world. So these are your choices. You have possibilities. You have choices. You don't have to go to the world. You don't have to go um, out on this journey. You have a choice of which timeline you wish to choose. You have a choice in this. You could be seeing this in your reality. They're showing me the card number 24. And so this number could be important to you. This could be your age. Oh no, it's the 20... This could be your age, but this is definitely the 2024. In 2024, there's going to be so many more possibilities for you. Look at all these windows. This is what they're showing me. Look at all the windows opening, all the doors and windows opening for you. All these possibilities. And they wanted me to look from up here so that I could see it. And I saw 1412, so these numbers could have meaning for you. This could be something special coming in on January 4th or January 2nd, is what they were telling me as well. And I know I've been seeing things for April, uh, coming in in April too. But this, they were showing me a vortex, they were showing me a stargate, they are showing me a... Um, a, a tunnel as you're traveling, you're going somewhere incredible. And you have all these choices and options of which way to go. So let's see if we can get a few more cards here. You promise success and you can't do it wrong. Um, so that is that's incredible. You promise success in whatever you choose. In whatever you choose. And the success is bring you out of this stagnation of this lizard and pitcher plant there was some stagnation that was keeping you in these um these eight of swords energies right these structures and these hi this hiding there was some stagnation that was keeping you here there's so there's fire coming through they're showing me the lizard and the year of the dragon and this fire coming through to ignite this to move you forward through these energies with the oat the oat and willow the goat and willow <laughs> Maybe you're eating oats. Someone here is eating lots of oats. <laughs> it's funny. I've been eating oats and there, his oat is popping up. So it's the goat and willow overcoming obstacles. This is helping you to overcome obstacles. So um, also possibly you're changing your diet and this is also helping you to overcome obstacles. Um, but I'm seeing the goat energy and you having the ability to nimbly uh, climb that mountain and get to that water, whatever it is you need to do. There's, there's no obstacle you can't overcome with this goat and willow. And this is healing with the, the willow. It's healing from this pain. It's healing. It's healing as you're creating your reality, possibly through meditation, possibly through meditation. For some of you, this is the case. They're showing you at the bottom of the deck with the badger and ginkgo of healing wounds. And I feel through 2024, you're going to be healing even more wounds. I feel like you've already been doing this, but this is telling you, you're going to be healing so much more and you're going to be recalling more memories, more memories with this ginkgo. Um, this is healing your brain. It's healing the structures in your brain. And it's, and it's pulling in the, uh, the shadow and the light. And Miss Airy agrees. She's agreeing with us. There's noises happening right now. Please be quiet, Miss Airy. We are recording. Uh, there's something happening in the house. So yes, definitely, this is going to be new memories coming in for you. And it's healing your brain. And she was, uh, as she was barking, I was talking about the merging of the shadow. So you could have been doing shadow work or doing more shadow work. Um, thank you, baby. <laughs> 
and yes so definitely shadow work has been very prominent this uh this balance of the shadow is a balance of the light and the dark within you it's this balance that has brought you in there i'm feeling very shamanic here i'm feeling it's very it's brought you this very shamanic energy to go forward and that's what's been so healing so healing this shamanic energy now for some of you this could be energy incoming shamanic energy incoming let me get a few more cards here truth there's going to be some truth coming in for you i also feel like you're going to be speaking truth with your voice with these throat activations but as i was saying you're going to be getting some memories there's going to be some truth coming in for you do you hear the fireworks that's a confirmation there's some truth coming in for you it's, it's okay baby girl it's fireworks <laughs> Ari, Ari is uh, usually scared of the fireworks but she's just kind of looking at him right now today so that's really cool i think she has evolved she has evolved and she knows these things can't hurt her anymore and maybe you know that now too. Maybe you know that now too that they don't have the right to touch you. They don't have the right to touch you. You just put those barriers in place and you say no more and that is enough. You may be looking at these signs and symbols and you're going to believe more. You believe now but you're going to believe more as this truth comes in. As this truth is spoken and maybe it's going to be spoken over uh, meals. I feel like there's some of this is conversations over meals. Or perhaps it's things that you're listening to as you're eating meals. As you're eating meals, there's going to be truth that's coming through. And you're going to be able to believe in these signs and symbols. See, there's a full moon. And on this full moon, I was doing this manifestation. Um, so you might be doing some manifestations or rituals on the full moon. And I'm actually going to be doing a, a, a ritual right after this. So this could be a call to some rituals as I'm seeing the full moon. But I feel it's taking you out of this control where you were this full energy fooled into believing that you should listen to these matrix structures you were telling you how to think and how to feel maybe telling you that you weren't good enough hmm? maybe telling you that you weren't good enough all the time whatever they were whatever they were trying to do just to keep your power stagnated but it's a tower moment for these energies it's a tower moment for these control energies and they're showing me the bottom of the deck. It's because of this divine connection with this clear quartz. And so crystals actually could have been helping you along this journey as well. But it's because of this divine connection you have. It's because of this divine connection you have with these divine blueprints that you have this beautiful coin of luck. This beautiful coin of luck and protection. And like I was saying, they can't mess with you anymore. They can't fuck with you anymore. <laughs> I know somebody said it was funny hearing me say that because I'm so sweet. I'll tell you what, you guys, I am so sweet. And I love staying in those energies. But I have a good balance of light and dark. And I have been in a lot of darkness. I actually came from some... <laughs> I gosh we'll talk about that later but i came from some really dark places you guys i really did and i did come from a lot of these secret societies and and special projects and things like that i did come from um a, a street activity a lot of gang related activity so like i came i came from i'm <laughs> I know I don't seem like that, but uh, I do I do have that side. I do have that balance, and I have no problem calling upon uh, Kalima or Sekhmet energy when I need to and stand and just uh, destroy people and rip their heads off. <laughs> like, oh, bloody mess. So I, thank you so much for all of your beautiful comments and subscriptions, you guys, and all the beautiful energy you send my way. I'm, I'm just so grateful and thankful for you. And it's this beautiful divine connection. It's this beautiful divine connection that has brought us together. It's this beautiful manifestation that I have done with this beautiful crystal here, this beautiful angel feather quartz, this beautiful manifestation that has brought us together on this beautiful uh, this beautiful new year of 2024 and I'm so excited because we're promised success this is beautiful we're going to the world look we've got the world twice on here that is joy and completion that is joy and completion you're really going someplace and this is incredible I think the whole world is going someplace they're showing me the bottom of the deck for wealth I said you're really going someplace you're going to wealth you're going to wealth. Oh, what an incredible message, you guys. I'm just so excited to bring this to you. Um, what a beautiful, beautiful reading. I'm sending you so much light, love, and blessings for a beautiful 2024. Um, and I, I just, I love you guys so much. And I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments. So go ahead and send me some messages if you got them. I'm sending you all the light and love. And I'll talk to you soon. 
Hello and welcome to group number two. If you chose card number two, you chose this beautiful heiress copper card. And with it, we have this little flower key. We have a peace sign. We have a kitty cat from Magic and Intuition. We have this little dice on the number four. And we have, oh, we have another kitty cat. We have the Hello Kitty. I'm so excited, you guys. I also am going to roll these dice for you. I just got these as a gift, as a Christmas gift. And these are dragon dice. And when I roll them, they make this beautiful jingly noise. And I forgot to roll them for group number one, but we want to go ahead and roll them on this beautiful New Year's reading. We want to roll them and get some numbers. Some special numbers. Look, it's have some special meaning for group number two. So let's see what we've got here, Spirit. We have a seven. Oh, I said seven. It's a two. <laughs> There's the seven. <laughs> a 30. A one, a one, a six, and a six. So we have 66, we have 11, we have a 30, and we have two and seven. I feel with these, it's a good luck in partnership with the two and the seven. Now these numbers could have a special meaning as a date. Uh, they could be special numerology. So if you wanna go ahead and look up the 66 or the 11, I feel this is an 11 for enlightenment. And then we've got the 30. So this could be your age. This could have some special meaning for you. For someone, someone here is 30. Now you could be 32, 37, 31, or 30. Six. I had to remember what what number that was. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and tap into your messages. I hope I can quit hitting the table so much, but my dog just decided to get right in the way. All right, <laughs> let's go ahead and tap in group number two to your New Year's messages for 2024. So what they're telling me, group number two, is that you're going to a completely different reality. So you've been doing some things within yourself, integrating light. And as you're integrating this light, it's actually changing. It's changing where you're going. And it's funny, I feel like you have a fire coming in. I feel like maybe you've been in the melting pot. Uh, it's, I'm getting really hot and I had to take off my hoodie there really quick. I feel you have some fire coming in. This Possibly it's some fire, Kundalini rising. But I feel this fire is this dragon fire that's coming in that's changing this base metal into something more more uh, conductive, something that's going to be more magical. This is conductive for magical, uh, magical work. So I do feel, again, this luck that's coming in. It's luck that's leading you uh, delving into the mysteries that lead to enlightenment. Enlightenment. So you might be getting more enlightenment about things. I do feel it's bringing in this Empress energy and peace. So this is peace. Now I feel this peace and Empress energy is coming through independence. It's independence of karmic cycles. Independence of karmic cycles and independence of four-walled world. So you're not being boxed in anymore. You're not being boxed in. But I do feel that for some of you, this is like a, a new home, a new place. Um, and this new place is bringing you freedom. And they're showing me the word Eris, but they're showing me Eris. Now they're giving me two different meanings for this. They're showing me airy as in a... Uh, a place where they keep birds. They're showing me an airy. Um, so this could have some meaning for you or this just could have a call to a, a ancestry, um, a avian ancestry or avian guides that you have had around you, an airy. Now for some of you again, an heiress. Now I'm seeing this is uh, transmuting to gold. So they're showing me an heiress as in you have an inheritance that is coming or you have a lot of money, a lot of wealth that is coming in. And I did see this luck peace empress energy so i do feel you could have some wealth or abundance codes and you're going to get there through this magic and intuition magic and intuition and independence so you have a key you have a key to this and it has to do with the divine feminine this key has to do with the divine feminine now they're showing me the card number again it's 23 so this could be your age or perhaps you were doing a lot of this in the year 2023 working on bringing in this energy 
for 2024. Let's go ahead and get a few tarot cards. I'm feeling a beautiful, I'm putting a beautiful piece on earth and I'm feeling a beautiful Cancerian energy as well, like a deep emotional, and this is it's a deep emotional healing is what I'm feeling here. A deep emotional healing that's raised the vibration of the planet. Judgment. This is judgment on these past energies. Now, this is judgment. I feel like you're bringing this judgment in yourself. I see it says evaluate your past choices and make changes to align with your higher purpose. And this is what I believe that you have done. Now, for some of you, you could be doing more of these in the year 2024 as this is a call for 2024. But I did put this in this past energy. This is always what's been going on what's been going on they're showing me the bottom of the deck and this is the emperor energy and we've got the empress on the card now i did say there was a partnership here again this information is coming in really fast and there's a lot of strong energy i'm going to try to slow it down it keeps trying to come through and almost blinds me with its with its brilliance through my brain <laughs> they're showing me stars so you may be seeing stars there's frequencies coming in from the stars i was just out in my backyard last night now i have a most much more beautiful view of the stars and i was getting frequencies from multiple stars there was multiple starlights that were feeding me these frequencies and i just wanted to lay out under the stars now this could be the case for you as they were showing me the stars but they're showing me these frequencies coming in from the stars that are giving me this information that's coming through so fast so these could be downloads you're getting you could have accelerated rated downloads going on it's taking you to this emperor energy it says claim your power and leadership ability with love and deep compassion love and deep compassion so remember to stay in these energies this is what's taking you to this empress emperor energy okay this is what's bringing in peace and luck and abundance and tranquility because you're using your good judgment to make changes to align with your higher purpose and this is a beautiful, beautiful message. I'm feeling this beautiful peace. And I'm feeling this beautiful change in my head. Change in my head space. There's changes going on to your brain. So there's going to be new structure, new change going on, coming in for 2024. It's going to be enlightening. I was talking about enlightening before I feel lots of light in my mind. Lots of light. Oh, now this could be uh, this could be decalcifying your pineal gland. I have a lot of pine cones here. I don't know if you know that this is a representation of that pineal gland, which actually has crystal is crystalline structures within your. There are crystalline structures within your pineal gland. They get calcified. You have to decalcify them. This is a. Uh, there could be the fire could have been burning that out. So perhaps you're utilizing these crystals more. Uh, this is light incoming now. I was also seeing more light within the cave of Brahma. So perhaps you're doing something with sacred geometry. I'm just, I just feel more light coming into your head. You could be getting these light downloads from the seraphim, from the angelic realms, from your spirit guides. They're showing me the bottom of the deck color. Uh, you are going full spectrum. Now, this could have to do with these information that's coming in and changing your mind. And I feel like with this also, you're going to be choosing the colors of your reality. With your judgment aligned with your higher purpose, choosing, they're showing me the choosing of the, choosing of the thought patterns, beliefs, choosing of the emotions you wish to paint your reality with. And this often has to do with rising out of yourself and connecting to your higher purpose and connecting to your higher self. They're wanting me to pull some crystal medicine oracle card so let me get a few of those for you group number two oh they're showing me at the i just actually had these cards explode all over me and as i was i saw this card and i reached for it so here we go it says temperance calm the charming waters of emotion and float above life's troubles with serenity this is an important message for someone right now. See, it had fallen under my table and I just saw it and my cards exploded everywhere. And as I was, I actually, I was thinking about dancing. As I was saying, I was going to ask you guys if anybody had uh, felt anything through these, through these activations that just happened. Because I reached out to several people when I saw these activations. I felt amazing things coming through and this is why I checked 
the Schumann resonance. Um, and then I, I sent pictures to people and I asked them how they were doing. I know a friend called me, asked me what was going on because uh, there were things, just incredible things happening and I had been dancing. I, I reached out to an, another one of my subscriber friends. Hi, Van. <laughs> I have been dancing. I had been dancing for hours. Um, when I got a message from her, I'd been dancing for, uh, I, I danced for, I think, three hours straight. I'm not sure how long I'd been dancing when I uh, called her, but I'd been spirit dancing. I was spirit dancing and singing very loudly. This is the self-expression. And Sirius told me that I was helping, I was broadcasting for Sirius uh, through this dancing and singing, through this changing and helping with this structure. And this is, uh, so this, this dance could be helping bring in self-expression. It actually might help calm these charming waters of emotion and help you float above with life's troubles and serenity. So now this could be a call to dance. Please, Miss Aries, stop. Thank you. Yes, this is definitely a call to dance. If you haven't already, this is a call to dance. This is a call to dance. It's going to help you bring more self-expression. And now this also could be a call to singing. This could be, for some of you, you may be a singer. And I know throughout this reading, I keep having to clear my throat and I've had to go get my drink as well. So there could have been something that was blocking your voice. These, these, these blocks could be being removed right now with all these recent activations that were coming through. And I know as I was dancing, I was just dancing and I could feel it was changing my DNA as I was just vibrating my body. Sometimes I would just bounce up and down, jump up and down and it's vibrating my body. It's changing the DNA. It's helping to shake in, to shake up the energetic structure. It's helping to shake up these, uh, these changes. It's helping to change change your dna change your vibration change everything change your reality change these structures remove these blocks so these are messages uh, lots of different messages that just came through take what resonates i feel those were multiple spirit guides that just came through let me get a drink here mm. all right let's get a few of these beautiful cards that i made for your blessings for this 20 24 mystical you're going to be having more mystical experiences your year is going to be more mystical than any year you have had before and i bet you've had some really mystical years i bet you've had some mystical magical experiences but this is going to be even more mystical it's mystical magical mythical there's going to be incredible things happening. Herbs. Herbs are going to be helpful and healing for you in this time, especially through all these ascension energies, uh, through all of these energetic changes that are going on in the world. It's taking you to the world. These are activations that are coming through for you. These are activations, and it says these are ha there's going to be happy little accidents and sacred plant medicine. So I said herbs and sacred plant medicine. These are going to be very healing for you. Herbs, sacred plant medicine, and dance. Now, if you don't already use some of these things, some of these things are going to be coming in for you in 2024. They're making you more mystical and they're taking you to the world. This world energy, these activations are happening for the world. And there's going to be happy little accidents you're going to be seeing in your reality. Happy little accidents, they're going to be bringing in new possibilities. Now, you may have some messages in group number one because that's what they're showing me. They're showing me the adjacent possibilities cards and these happy little accidents bringing these possibilities boop, into, into the... Into the um, into the they're showing me the into the matrix into reality into this into this structure uh that we that we envision and call our world into this 3d reality so there's going to be happy little accidents and they're little bips they're showing me like little bips coming from the angels little bips coming from the spirit guides star guides uh this is this is incredible messages and they're showing me the bottom of the deck with a voice i feel uh, you're going to be given a voice i feel that you're really going to be given a more of a voice uh, and also, I'm feeling with this card, this is also, there's something in your voice uh, that's going to be helping others. Something in your voice that is going to be soothing for others. Now, this could be coming from these activations. This is going to be coming from these sacred plant medicine, these herbs, and this mystical experience. This is going to be activating something within your voice. Uh, that's going to be spreading. That's coming to be spreading from the self-expression. See, and again, I said you might be singing. For some of you, you might be singing, singing and dancing. I'm feeling singing and dancing. Is this with the black tourmaline and the feather? There's some cleansing, uh, cleansing, this dancing, this self-expression, this dancing that you're doing, uh, these, these sacred plant medicine, these herbs, they're cleansing, uh, cleansing uh, negative energy from around you, cleansing out those other thought forms, patterns, 
uh, structures. And they're also showing that for some of you, this is, could be a call to cleanse your space and cleanse these negative energies or when these energies come through or when you're feeling a negative energy, to grab a rock and ground. Grab a rock, grab a rock and ground. Uh, sit down on the earth, um, burn a little sage, burn a little incense, watch what incense you burn. I burned one the other day. It made me feel not so good. So watch what you're burning. But then I, um, so definitely burn something because they're showing me the smoke as the cleansing, the sage. And then they're showing me the tourmaline as in absorbing absorbing the ne negative energies and it's helping through these death processes is what they're showing me now and now they're showing me uh, also this uh this hawk this journeying this moving forward and this this a uh, scouting a uh, scouting so for some of you this could be hunting scouting this is looking for the way to go uh, they're showing me a bird's eye view as flying flying up high in the heavens and overlooking overlooking the world um and seeing which way to go so this is a message for someone as this was a vision that's coming through. Let's go ahead and get some more tarot cards here. For group number two, Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning in love. A new beginning in love. They're wanting me to look at the... I saw 1559 and then the clock just turned to 16 minutes. 16 minutes, a new beginning in love. So these numbers could have some meaning for you. Six of Cups. See, there was a reminiscing of these past energies. And I feel, actually what they're showing me, I feel somebody could have been giving you sacred plant medicines or herbs that's helped you. Uh, this could have been in your past. This could be a, a mentor, a guide, a friend, a star sister, star brother, soul family, star family. Um, and I feel like a very much emotional love for this energy of the sharing, a sharing of energy. Someone has shared their energy with you. Now this could have to do with the cleansing. With the three of swords, there could have been some heartbreak in this energy that they shared with you. This could be reminiscing about this heartbreak from the past. Yes, for some of you, this is the case. It is a new beginning in love. And moving out of these three of swords energies, these, these energies that constantly wound you constantly wound you. You should not be wounded in love all the time. For the person that loves you should not wound you constantly. That should not be a thing. This is a new beginning for them. This is a new beginning for these lovers. A new beginning. And they're showing me that the travel, um, and, and I don't know if you're traveling here, but I feel you have maybe have messages in group number one. And feeling this travel to the world, travel could be taking you to these lovers. It could bring these lovers together and I feel like it's angelically guided angelically guided travel because they're showing me the mountain and this being separated in two different places and i'm feeling like mount fuji here but there could be another <gasps> volcanic action that just happened in iceland um that might have been activating to bring these lovers together perhaps you're going to iceland or mount fuji i, I feel these mountains I, again this is a travel that's bringing this lovers it's a new beginning in love a new beginning that's taking you out of this three of swords energy this still maybe felt good as if even, even if you were reminiscing on it. Take all these messages how it resonates, you guys. I have miss different messages for different people. This is definitely what I'm feeling over here. They're showing me the bottom of the deck is the Empress. And this is definitely Empress energy. Empress and Emperor energy. So we've got this beautiful Empress that is changing within this cauldron. That's changing and transmuting to this gold. And you're going to this Emperor energy. Now this is the lovers, the Emperor and the Empress. That are gathering together these you're going you're going to go find them in the world these activations are taking you there's happy little accidents they're taking you there they're taking you to your empress energy take that how it resonates it's going to be different for everyone and this is beautiful beautiful message beautiful message I, I will go ahead and wrap up this reading. I've been reading for a minute. They're showing me the bottom of the deck, so I'll go ahead and give you this. At the Ten of Wands, I feel like you've gathered all this fire together. You've gathered all this magic. And perhaps it was like a burden before, but this is the thing that's actually going to be taking you forward into the future. You've gathered. You've got everything you need. This is a this is a ten. This is an end of a cycle. This is a completion. This is a completion because you've mastered this. You've mastered this. This is why you're getting this new beginning in love. And this is an incredible message for you guys. Um, for 2024 this incredible new beginning in love and a voice 
And it, for some of you, this could be a, a this could be a beautiful community, a beautiful community for you as well, because they're showing me like surrounded by love, like surrounded by they're showing me the water lilies, surrounded by these beautiful water stars, these beautiful water lilies, these water star vibes, these beautiful energies, these beautiful energies. And then they're showing me the angels and the avians as bringing it to you, bringing you these, bringing you, bringing you abundance. They're showing me bringing you coins, bringing you abundance, and you're going to have the ability to overflow. And you're going to be able to give from your overflow. Because you are manifesting with pure intentions. So this is an incredible message that just came through right at the end. If you want to the end, please let me know. Because <laughs> it was a beautiful message that just came through for you. Um, right at the end, I was thinking about getting an angel card, but an angel just came through and spoke. So there you go. You've got a beautiful, beautiful reading for 2024, you guys. The powers, uh, the energies that are coming through are so powerful. I was going to say the powers are so powerful. The powers are powerful. <laughs> they are powers. There are powers that are powerful. The powers are are here. You know, it's funny. I just spoke with them in the ritual. So here we go. Uh, I send me put, put messages in the comments, you guys. I love hearing from you guys. Let me know how this resonates with you. I'm sending you so much light and love on this beautiful, beautiful 2024, this beautiful new year. I'm so excited about these, all these incredible activations, this world, this joy that's coming in for you, um, this dance that's taking you there. I'm just so excited for you guys. Okay, I'm sending you so much light and love, and I'll talk to you soon. Hello and welcome to group number three. If you chose card number three, you chose this beautiful Veneris Venus card. It has the angels are watching over you. We have the tree of life, the star, the butterfly, the little peace sign, and the swans here. These uh, soulmate swans. So let me go ahead and, oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get a few of these beautiful dice for you that we just got. For our Christmas gift, these beautiful dragon dice. Do you hear them? Can these sound musical, you guys? Isn't that so fun? Let's go ahead and wrap up. So let's get some special numbers for you. Uh, for 2024, group number three. Seven. We've got some good luck here. 90. A 90 degree turn. Two. Five, five, one, and a four. One, two, so I've got 12, four, 90, 90 degree turn, 55, 55. Now you could be 55, but I feel this is a master number 55 that's calling. And if you want to look that up in numerology, we'll get a little message there. And then we've got a seven. We've got a seven for good luck and a four. I'm feeling this four. It's actually coming from a uh, the Egyptian pyramids thing. It's taking you uh, out of four world worlds. I feel like it's a 90 degree. We've got this 90 degree, 90 degree turn that you've done. This 90 degree turn. So you're changing your realities. We're going to go ahead and tap into your messages. Um, I'm so excited. This is a great, this is a great, I'm loving the numbers here, you guys. <laughs> For, for group number three, let me go ahead and tap in for you um, and see what's going on, what kind of messages you have for the angels. These messages have been incredible for 2024, group number three. Did you hear that fireworks, you guys? Did you hear it? So I'm seeing the visions and the firework comes in just as I'm, I'm so I'm, I'm, I'm up in this. Okay, so I feel these frequencies and I'm up in this space. It feels like a new space. So it's like a new world. It's like a new world that's opened up. A new world of frequencies that's opened up for you. And I'm in this beautiful space. And then they show me this beautiful blossom of the lotus from within me. This beautiful blossoming of the lotus from within and without. And as I do that, I was, and hear that again, it's the fireworks confirming I feel that you are rising you're getting gaining this enlightenment and you're rising up and you're blossoming like this beautiful lotus and you're going to be blossoming like this beautiful lotus in 2024 and it has to do with these new timelines it has to do with this new space that you're in this new space that's full of light codes full of frequencies full of activations and it's come from these ancient Egyptian activations that have come through recently and the council of light the council of light and I've got the angels are really prominent here they're surrounding you and protecting you. They took you on this 90 degree turn. 
to take you to this new reality, to take you to this new timeline. You're being promised luck in this. It's actually a mastery that's going to be taking you to abundance. Because you're connected to this tree of life and the angels are guiding you along the way here through this transition, through this ascension. And they're guiding you to this partnership so we've got the angels and the star beings guide you. And you're getting star frequencies because you are the star seed. These, these frequencies, this peace, they're bringing you peace. So the angels are bringing you this peace. So they're surrounding you by this peace and the star beings are bringing you transcendence. You guys, the energy has been coming through so powerfully this night. And did you hear the fireworks for the transcendence? It's definitely coming through. Um, you'll have to give me a moment. I'm going to try to slow it down. It almost blinds me coming through. It's almost who wants to shoot right out of my skull. It feels like these energies that are coming through. They're showing me the lights coming down, activating. The lights coming down, activating and bringing in more communication, more information, more ability to hold information. Let's try to slow it down a little bit, guys. Let's get a few tarot cards for you. It's activating the divine feminine upon the planet. So what they're showing you, this divine feminine activation, is what's helped bring these, uh, bring these changes in. They're showing me five of wands. There was a lot of fighting, and there was a lot of fighting, and now there's two paths. You put up these boundaries, and now you, maybe you had two paths in the way to go. A lot of this has to do with the Divine Feminine, with this Venusian energy. Now, you can take this how it resonates as a Divine Masculine or a Divine Feminine. We all have a mixture of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine within us. Seriously, this, the energy that's coming through, it's, it's rocking my head. So you may be getting head changes. Uh, you might be seeing lights. Um... Yeah, lights, sound, high frequencies. So again, this is a structure and a change that's happening. It has to do with this Venusian energy that's rising upon the planet over this next year in 2024. That's bringing peace and it's bringing in these divine partnerships. It's bringing peace to divine partnerships. With the Five of Wands, it was this, this arguing and this fighting. And they're actually showing me as it's causing like a, it's causing like a, a sorcery, a, a witchcraft, a, a spell, a, possibly a curse. Because they're showing me, they're showing me all of these, uh, these wands making a pentacle, a pentacle. This fight's like keeping you in some sort of structure and sort of sorcery causing these fights. Now this could be the case. This could be the structures we just came out of, these matrix structures that are releasing, uh, releasing from these structures that's bringing, uh, and again, it's giving you two paths. And it's because you're putting these boundaries in place. They're showing me the angel standing at the gates. They're, they're, we're getting so much fireworks now. The angel standing at the gates of Eden. Um, so perhaps you're keeping someone out of your Eden as well. So this is, this is you using these fiery energies to only allow those energies within your beautiful personal private space uh, that feel good to you and feed you and bring you this beautiful divine feminine partnership forward. I feel that you're going to be getting some activations on your healing as well. Are you hearing as well? This clear audience. There's some clear audience activations coming through for you. Now there's two different paths. You might be feeling these two different paths right now. These two different options. Maybe you have this option to stay with the fighting. Maybe you have this option to move away from the fighting. And you're definitely being encouraged to move away. <laughs> definitely being encouraged to move away. Uh, we're going to give you one of these Bob Ross Oracle cards for you. Let's see what they've got for us. The squirrel, the squirrel, I feel. Now, I'm getting a couple of messages with this. I feel that there might be little distractions, little distractions, but I'm feeling with this, there's like a positive energy coming in for you that, that the nature is bringing to you. Now, they're wanting me to go ahead and get this card uh, number here. I read it from the book for you, but I feel like nature is bringing in you these uh, these spirit guides, these spirit animals. They're sending you these fairy signs and things like this. This is actually they're showing me the blue on the card. This is actually lightening, uh, lightening your reality, lightening your mood, bringing in this magic, bringing in peace, bringing in peace. Uh, this light blue, this light blue. Now they want me to look at the card, so let me look here. It's number seventy-five. Ooh, listen to those fireworks. Happy New Year's, you guys. I'm so excited for this new year. The squirrel, all of God's creatures. Squirrels held a special place, of all of God's creatures, squirrels held a special place in Bob Ross's heart. The little tree urchins, he called them, would come to him for food and comfort. I have a big walnut tree in my yard, and little squirrels come, and they eat the walnuts. 
They have little power struggles over who's going to get the walnuts. Me or the squirrel? Guess who wins? The squirrel has got a nest full of nuts and I have none. The squirrels can be wary of strangers, but know where to help, to find help in times of need. If further, it further reminds us to prepare for the future, squirreling away nuts for a tough times and when there isn't anyone to help and we must stand on our own. So this could be a call that you're going to be standing on your own in the future with these dividing paths. Um, and then again, you could have messages in group number two uh, if you're feeling that independence. So I feel that you might be wary of strangers, but you know where to find help in times of need. And this is definitely what they're showing me with these keeping these energies away. That's what they were reading me to look at right here on the card or on the book again. That you may be wary of strangers, but you know where to find help in times of need. Uh, and then this is also a call to uh, scroll away little things to prepare for the future. Now this could be this could be investing, maybe that you're looking into investing or something like that. This could be the case. This could be just tucking little bits of money into your books or mattresses for later on <laughs> so that you have it or putting food away uh, for when you want that later they're wanting me to get some woodland wardens for you because i was feeling the spirit animals i was feeling these spirit guides with the little squirrel and the little calls to nature and earth uh gaia mother gaia coming in for you mother gaia coming in to nurture you through this time they're so neat they're showing me the, the the trout. I almost said frout, like a frog was coming through. So a frog could have some symbolism for you. And I feel like it's a great grand transformation, grand transformation that's happening with the trout and lily of the valley purification. I feel that uh, now you're purifying your energies by moving away from these arguing energies, these argumentative energies. So you're purifying your energies by moving away from those, but you're also purifying your energies from staying away. You're staying away from strangers, but you know when, when to go for help. So this could be a hermiting as well. And this could be something more that you're doing more in 2024. Now with the trout and lily, uh, the trout and lily of the valley, I feel this is going to be very healing for you. I feel this is a beautiful nurturing space. Um, I'm feeling like a, a beautiful shaded area, you know, where lily of the valley grows, where it's shaded and protected. And I was talking about the spirit guides protecting you, uh, protecting you and giving you this beautiful nurturing energy around you. Now, this also could be a call to purify your space, but I do feel like you're purifying your energy with all these energies that you're letting go of. And they're showing me the bottom of the deck. Oh no, it's a, it's a squirrel again. Maybe you're watching squirrels. Squirrels could have a particular meaning for you. And they're, they're actually, have you ever seen that squirrels at the window uh, YouTuber? I love that squirrels at the window. I don't know why that just popped up, but it's, I, they, I'm hearing squirrels at the window. So there you go. Um, squirrels and chestnuts, preparation. So you, again, this is squirreling things away to prepare for the future. Prepare for the future. Squirreling away those nuts. So they're definitely calling for a preparation. This is a preparation of something. You're going somewhere to do something special in 2024. Let's get some energy oracle cards. One just flew right out. Seven chakra Archangel Uriel. So I feel Archangel Uriel is really giving this crown chakra activation. Now she's been very uh, prominent in helping the the twin flames couples and the divine partnerships very prominent in helping with these divine partnerships for the 144 and I'm seeing a four and a one now i'm seeing this as a backwards i keep seeing the backwards 144 and this is a four here so that's what they're showing me 144 <laughs> so definitely she's here to guide this 144 now you could be part of the 144 or the 144,000 light workers that are here to elevate uh, and, and bring in this new earth and bring in these new timelines and bring in this ascension. Uh, so this could be an activation that you're having right now. This could be why you're being called to purify your space and go into these mastery energies. It's going to actually be taking you to abundance. Now I'm also feeling, I'm also feeling besides this 144, again, these divine partnerships. Now she's here protecting these divine partnerships and it's going to be a purification. Uh, to get ready for these divine partnerships, a preparation, a preparation for these partnerships. You could be being prepared. Um, perhaps you were being prepared. This was preparation in these hermit energies that you were doing, because I have this card in the past. So you were, were being prepared, um, and now you're being purified, 
purified by this light, purified by these frequencies and codes coming in, purified uh, to, to, be, to be capable of moving into these divine partnerships. And that really isn't a beautiful message. They're, they're showing me the bottom of the deck is the journey. You're going to be going on a journey to these partnerships. They're a journey, a journey, beautiful journey. And now they're wanting me to get some of my... Ooh, yes, I heard boom, boom, journey, journey to two. And there was two fireworks that went off as well. This is a confirmation, a journey to partnership. Oh, they wanted me to get some blessings cards. Here they are. As I set my tarot cards on the floor, I had to grab those. Okay, journey. So this is the, these are the special cards I made today about the things that's coming in for you for 2024. You're going to be receiving more. You're going to be, instead of instead of working, working to get that abundance, you're going to be sitting back and receiving more. You're receiving these signals. You're receiving these signals from these angel, angelic beings and these star beings. You're receiving these signals. It's upgrading your crown. It's purifying you and it's taking you to this journey of partnership. They're showing me the bottom of the deck. Forgiving. So you're going to be receiving and giving. Isn't this beautiful? And I feel like this, you might be giving gifts that actually are going to bless you as the giver. So as you give to others, and this could be through donation, this could be through gifts, this could be through just sharing your light and your sparkle. This is actually going to come back and you're going to receive these blessings. So I feel these are gifts, giving, uh, giving gifts and receiving blessings in return. So this is a beautiful give and take energy. It's a beautiful duality. It's a beautiful, um, a beautiful flow, a flow with the universe. They're showing me uh, the bottom of the deck for a massage, a massage. So I feel with all these frequencies, this preparation, these frequencies that have been coming in, it might be been really hard on your body, and this might be a call to massage your body. And this could be a call that you might be getting a beautiful massage in the future. A massage. And I'm also feeling like massage, like message, like a massage. I feel like, like, like a French, is that even the French word for message? It seems silly, you guys. Maybe it is. <laughs> massage, probably not. Anyway, I do feel that this could be foreign. There could be someone speaking with you to you in a different language that's going to be a message for you as well. But this is definitely a call. I definitely make sure you're massaging the body, massaging, cleansing out those energies through this purification time, this purification by fire, because you are growing with Gaia. These are ascension energies that you're going through. They're showing me, uh, they're showing me the bottom of the deck of growing your abundance. These crown chakra activations, this purification, this journey, it's going to be growing your abundance. And that's a beautiful message. Look at all these green cards that came out. These are just all this earth healing energies. This is all these earth healing energies that's coming out for you. Magic. They're showing me magic. I had a magic and wealth. There was another card that flipped over in the middle. Magic and wealth. As you're growing your abundance... Magic is my magic might be taking you there. You might be doing some magical rituals that's helping you grow your wealth and abundance. It's helping you do this giving and receiving and learning, uh, learning the laws of the universe, learning the laws of the universe, learning to manifest your reality. Please make sure you check out my manifest frequency channel. I'll have a link for that below. Uh, there, yes, they're showing me the bottom of the deck manifestation for manifesting your reality. By listening to subliminals, by doing meditations, by doing rituals, uh, you are manifesting a reality. You're manifesting through magic. You're manifesting wealth. You're manifesting magic. Magic in your reality. And peace within. And peace within. And these are just incredible messages. Let's go ahead and check our time really quick. Group number three. Oh my gosh. I have been, I've been reading for 17 minutes and 22 seconds. It doesn't feel like that at all. It feels like nothing. <laughs> but this is a beautiful, beautiful message. I've been so excited to bring this to you. Let's just get a Angels of Abundance card to close this out for you. That's what I'm feeling. These beautiful messages for your beautiful New Year's. It fell right out. Clean energy foods. So clean energy foods are really important for you right now. They're going to help you to manifest. 
They're going to help you with these, uh, again, the massaging through these energies that have come through, this preparation. Take care of yourself as you're going through these energies that are coming through as you're growing with Gaia, okay? So these clean energy foods are going to be very helpful and beneficial to you in this time. They're actually showing me the mushrooms I have in my closet and reminding me that they're ready to eat. So I have lion's mead mushrooms growing in my closet, you guys. They are ready to eat. I think I should eat them for, as a blessing for New Year's. I'm really excited about that. It also says detox your friendships. Again, this is the energies, the uh, argumentative energies. You're detoxing from those. And your abundance, and we want me to read this card to you. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. Inspiring, generous, and supportive. And this is a beautiful message for all of us. This is what's going to be taking us to this beautiful magic and manifestation. Um, I just love this message. Please let me know how it resonates with you guys um, for this beautiful reading for 2024. I just love hearing from you, my beautiful soul family, star family. And uh, to all my new subscribers, I am so happy to have you here. I'm just so grateful uh, for all your subscriptions, your comments, your likes, your shares, your purchasing a personal reading, your, your letters, just anything you do to exchange positive energy with me. I am ever so grateful and I send you so much positive energy in return. I'm hoping you so much light, love, and blessings for a beautiful, beautiful 2024. You guys, I'm sending you so much love and light and I'll talk to you soon.